Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am filming a giant Ulta haul. This box is full of some stuff I have bought over the last couple of months. It's been a minute since I've been sharing what I've purchased and I feel like I have bought all of the new hyped up products. So let's go ahead and get into this haul. So there's quite a bit of stuff in here, a large variety of things, makeup, skincare, body care, fragrance. Maybe I'll start with the makeup first because I did try a couple things on for you today. Starting with this NYX primer. So I've heard, I feel like I've heard uh, some buzz going on with this one and I know NYX their products usually go pretty viral whether it's on TikTok, Instagram or YouTube because they are a more affordable brand and typically they have some good stuff. They came out with their Freezy and it's a cooling primer and moisturizer for the skin. It has niacinamide and snow mushroom in the formula and it's kind of interesting. So it looks like this gel base and you put some on and it does have a slight cooling effect but nothing crazy uh, at first application. So you just kind of rub it into the skin and to me it just kind of felt like one of those like smoothing gel moisturizers. And then as it just sat on the skin, <laughs> I kind of noticed like the corners of my cheeks by my mouth area kind of had this burning tingling sensation that just did not go away. So I guess that's the cooling part of the primer. Although I'm not sure if this really did a whole lot. This might even be too moisturizing for me, honestly. And if you have sensitive skin, I feel like this is not going to be nice on the face because it does have that almost burning sensation to make it feel like it's cooling. I don't know if this really does a whole lot for me to justify the purchase. So we're just kind of on the fence about this one so far after using it for the first time. Another product I'm just not sure how I'm feeling about. I'm leaning towards not a fan but I decided to pick up this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue which they've had their Complexion Rescue line before. They've had a tinted moisturizer but I saw that they came out with a matte tinted moisturizer which definitely piqued my interest because I am more oily and I just felt like their Complexion Rescue was kind of trending again this year. It's a very natural skin tint so this kind of does that same effect. It's not a lot of coverage at all. Like it, if any it has like the lightest amount of coverage. I feel like I would like a little bit more to it. Um, I did apply this one on my skin today. You could pretty much see everything through. Like I really didn't feel like it d did much for my skin at all. Uh, I got the shade Birch 105 which seems to be a pretty decent match. I just feel like this didn't really do anything to my skin coverage wise but then it just didn't make it look its best. Like I don't know if it's the primer the foundation combo but I don't know. I just am noticing quite a bit of texture on the skin around the nose. I noticed some dry spots right away so I don't know this one might be going back to the store I just think I need a little bit more coverage even with my tinted moisturizer so I just wasn't really wowed when I put this on the skin let me know if you guys have tried it but I probably would not recommend this one there's definitely some better tinted moisturizers and skin tints out on the market that I don't think that this one is really necessary. All right, let's get into something that I actually really did enjoy trying this on today. I finally got the Juvia's Place Coffee Shop Palette. I saw that they released this. I feel like it's been a couple months at this point, but Ulta just got it recently. So I'm a neutral girl and I just had to try this one for myself. So I mean, Juvia's Place, I'm not always the biggest fan of their palettes. I haven't always loved like their mini ones that I've tried, but this one I think is actually quite nice. So the coffee shop has like the perfect range of neutrals and and since this is a black owned business, their tones are deeper, which I love because I love a good deep outer corner, a nice smoky eye. So I do like to go deeper with my more neutral shadows. And yeah, these felt really nice, honestly, like really smooth metallics. They are a little bit on the drier side, but they look so pretty on the eyes, especially this color here that I used on the lid. These do not have shade names, I just realized. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, I thought this was nice. It's a great just everyday neutral leaning smoky palette for all different skin tones. You can wear it if you're fair, if you're deep. It works for everyone. So I really like this one so far and I can't wait to play with it more. I know I'll get a lot of use out of this because I love my neutrals for every day. Speaking of Juvia's Place, this product has been trending. So you know I had to go ahead and pick one up. I have not tried this yet, but this is their 
Blushed Liquid Blush, and this is supposed to give Rare Beauty a run for their money, apparently, as the most pigmented blush on the market. So I picked up the shade Soft Tulip. These colors were flying off the Ulta shelves already, because I have just seen them all over TikTok. So you do get a nice amount of product. I went for a lighter shade, since these are, I heard, really pigmented. Let's just do one dot, because I have seen people put on, like, a couple, and it is just pretty intense so here is one dot of the soft tulip i also love the tulip name because i'm dutch so it's perfect and blending it out so yeah it definitely has some pigmentation but it seems to blend pretty well i could feel it drying but not overly like you can still maneuver the product where you want it which i like i hate when stuff dries down too fast and it looks like you can sheer out a little bit so maybe you know if you are buying these start out small i cannot wait to try this on the cheeks though and see if i like it i'll probably film a little tiktok on this one um and try it on there but i am so excited about it and then speaking of like liquid blush and stuff i did grab a bunch of the elf halo glow beauty wands i know i'm late to the trend on these because i should have got my video up right away but i got so busy with some different trips and then like so much product so i never got like a first impressions up on these but i tried them out for the first time today and I don't know if I love them honestly let me know your thoughts but I have them on and I don't know I just feel like my cheeks look a little bit on the patchy side and these were a little harder to blend out I feel but let me just swatch them for you so I do like I think the contour um, but it's pretty pigmented like more pigmented than I thought it was going to be I did pick up two shades to see which one I would like I did go with the light medium on Today and I did three dots and it was actually really really pigmented So you really only need a little bit but that is the light medium swatched now This packaging is not my favorite because Milani has the same packaging on theirs and I just feel like they're kind of hard to close because you don't see them close all the way they have this like gap in there and then I feel like they're just gonna dry out because they don't really close which is just kind of faulty packaging in itself it's not the best let's swatch the fair and light shade I should try this one on so this is gonna be your more cool tone color which I still need to try that so yeah I tried this on for my bronzer it blended out okay, but it was a lot of product that I got on, but it still blended. So, I mean, it wasn't like stuck in a line, um, but I, st I think I like the Milani ones, the formula a little bit better. I feel like it's a little bit more maneuverable and more natural, but I know not everyone likes the tones of the Milani. I did pick out two of the blushes as well. I just couldn't decide on shades, and I thought some of these might be comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury ones, but I did try on the Berry Radiant today, and I'll tell you... I did two dots of this one on my cheeks and they would not blend out very well. Like you could still see the little circles. So it took some work. I think it's definitely best to apply it on your hand dip your brush in onto the cheeks because these do dry fast so you have to work fast with them. It kind of reminds me of like the Flower Beauty contour ones. I had that problem too. I don't remember if they came out with blush ones but you have to work fast with these. I was not a huge fan of the blush to be honest. But that's the Berry Radiant. And then I also picked out this one. And this one has kind of more of a coral look. And it looks a lot like Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm in a way. Or Peach Gasm maybe. But I mean it swatches really beautifully. I'm just, they're just a little hard to work with. I think my favorite is the highlighter ones though because these I applied on the hand again and you can also just dip your finger in and just tap it on and I just feel like they look the most natural and were easier to blend that way because you're not putting like a huge dot on so yeah maybe don't dot them on the face blend on the hand apply your brush in and go to town with that way but this is in champagne which is the one I have on now so there is champagne, definitely a perfect tone. This will be a good one for fair light skin tones. And I picked out this one that's a little bit more pinky. This one is called Rose Quartz. So yeah, that one is going to be good for medium and deeper skin tones as well. So those are the shades I got, two of each one. Still just on the fence of these, I really thought I was going to be more blown away than I am just because I feel like e.l.f. has been nailing it. Like, they've really been putting out some great products, but... I don't know these just were not as good as I was expecting but I still need to try them I've literally only tried them one time but so far I just feel like these are gonna be taking some work to put them on the face which I don't really always like to have to put a ton of effort in with my products when I have good products even if they are a little bit more expensive that apply 
just easily so I'm on the fence I'm so curious to see what you guys think of them though are you guys having the same problems let me know down below okay so I did pick up another face product I kind of was wishing that I had tried this one today instead because I feel like I will like this one better but I know this foundation has been out for a while this is the NARS natural radiant long wear I've seen so many people with oily skin that have had this foundation in their favorites for years it's not a new foundation at all but I wanted to give it a try because usually I like their soft matte foundation but I figure if so many people like this that have my same skin type and it's a good coverage wears all day I think I would like this as well I'm just I was nervous because it has radiant in the name that always scares me with these kind of foundations but that doesn't always mean that it's gonna get really greasy or anything like that so I did pick this up to try in the shade Mont Blanc is usually my shade in NARS so I'm excited you guys it says on here that it's their first long wear foundation that looks stronger stays longer with skin recognition pigments for the trust color match in 16 hours of wear so that sounds amazing I didn't even know about the pigments in here so hopefully it'll turn out to be like my perfect match even though usually Mont Blanc does work okay guys I bought another Too Faced blush I love my cotton candy one from I think that's the name is it called cotton candy clouds that bright pink from them I think this is a great formula so I wanted to get another color I picked out tequila sunrise I wanted to get something different than I usually have I don't have a lot of corals and peaches in my collection I just love the packaging on these but I think these are such pretty natural blushes that offer a little bit of just a natural color it's not really sh a lot of sheen or anything like that but they're beautiful I think so this is a really pretty peach yeah I'm always wearing the pinks so I wanted to get something different I think this will be a fun shade for summer but I really love these and it just helps that the packaging is so cute too another blush I bought I've been hearing good things about these essence baked blushes of course I bought this and then they sent me the whole collection in PR now so I have them all to try now but originally I did buy this color I have not tried it yet went for a more berry color this is called berry cheeks now essence is super affordable but I do love a good baked blush I just feel like they're hard to mess up on the skin usually they have a nice kind of radiance to them this one really isn't shiny but it's really pigmented it's maybe a satin finish but it does give off a really nice berry shade it's not one it doesn't look like you have to build it at least from the pigment here it goes on really nice so i wanted to grab one of these and this is a huge blush i did buy something from mac i was so curious about this though so they redid all their skincare it's not called like hyper real and they came out with a skin canvas balm and it's supposed to be like your perfect moisturizing prep for foundation now I do have oily skin but I still you know I sometimes like a more moisturizing base here and there and I can always go in and mattify with powders and spray but sometimes a good moisturized base is going to make your foundation look even better so this says it has niacinamide hyaluronic acid and ceramides in the formula you only need like a pea size amount it says to put on the skin so I'm curious to try this one and it actually came in a mini size which I thought was awesome so I just got the little mini one because really you don't need a lot of this but it just seems like it's going to be a really nice skin base before foundation and it's also moisturizer in one I did pick this up from Fenty this was a trending product I've seen I think this has been going viral for like probably over a year I'm late to the game but I picked up the kilowatt highlighter duo in ginger binge in Moscow mule so it's one of their highlight duos but you can actually wear this one as a blush look how pretty I could just see myself mixing these together and it's gonna create a really pretty kind of shimmery more pink blush let me go ahead and swatch them separate and together here is separate then together on the bottom it's actually so pretty it's such a pretty more shimmering almost rustic peachy pink this is definitely going to be stunning i'm just hoping it's not going to be too glowy but i've seen people with this on and it looks so beautiful so again I'm late to the game but I wanted to try this out I got quite a few lip products here it looks like let's start with what I have on so I love these NYX 
fat lip oils and I wanted to get another color that was deeper because the ones I have are pretty pink this is perfect so this brown I think is the darkest one in the collection don't be scared of it because it looks really deep but on it's gonna give you this gorgeous like brownie berry lip and I love this lip oil formula it's so good such a pretty color. So definitely pick this one up if you're looking at one. This one is in status update. It's definitely my favorite. I think this is so pretty for something different if you don't want that bright pink lip oil look. This is this is great. I also got a new MAC lipstick and I actually bought this for the name. I think it's so cute, but it's actually such a pretty color. So this is their Luster Glass lipstick and the name is actually called Thanks, it's MAC. So people are like, what lipstick do you have on? It's so pretty. Thanks, it's MAC. <laughs> that just cracked me up. So that's one of the main reasons that I bought this one. But it's such a pretty just everyday color too. So of course I feel like this would be such a good compliment getter. But here's what it looks like. Usually the luster glasses are a little more sheer. You have to build them up a bit and they have a little shine to them. So pretty. This is just a great everyday nude. So Thanks, it's MAC. <laughs> More lip products, because apparently I cannot stop buying lip products. We have a Juvia's Place. I bought another thing. I think this was also in their coffee or chocolate line. So this is the Candy Shop Lip Gloss, and the color is Choco Mellow. Really pretty shade. And it smells like Sweet Tarts candy. I wish it smelled like chocolate because I feel like that would make more sense. But it smells like Sweet Tarts. And again, this is your brownie nude. This one's going to be deeper than the NYX lip oil. It does look like a milk chocolate kind of color. It's so pretty. I've weared this one on. It's kind of like a lip lacquer. So it does have full pigment. But gives you that glossy shine. Not sticky at all. So I've been loving that one. I have been using it. I also picked up this Essence lip gloss. They had some new ones. This is the Plumping Lip filler called what the fake it has cinnamon oil in the formula to plump this is called oh my nude so i figured we would try this out here is the packaging of it oh it does smell like cinnamon you guys oh my so this again is kind of like a lip lacquer so it's full pigment a really nice petal pink color and yeah it's supposed to plump so we'll see if these burn at all what the plump is like if i will enjoy them I don't know, but I'm always up to trying the Essence products because they're just so affordable. I feel like they great. I feel like they make some great alternatives to some high-end products. So I'm curious to see how these are. Maybe they'll be comparable to like the Buxom a little bit. I think that's finally all the makeup. Let's get into some of my random body care, skincare, everything. So I ended up buying a bunch of Zitstika stuff. I think this was even during 21 Days of Beauty, so that just shows you how behind I am on this haul, but they had like half off one day, so I bought a bunch. I got the Goo Getter Extraction Dots. These are my favorite, like this brand is my favorite for acne, if you like, like to use pimple patches. I personally think these are the best, so the Goo Getter is going to bring out like some of those under the surface pimples to the surface and get all that out. And I also bought a bunch of the Killa... This is the Deep Access patch, which this one actually has little micro points on it that actually will kind of almost puncture it in a way and get everything out. This is actually for the early stage zit, it says. So when you just feel it coming on, you're going to put this on there. So I actually bought a bunch of those because these only come with four each, but you don't have to use those every time while the Goo Getter comes with like 30 patches. I also restocked my favorite Kiss Lashes. Well, I guess these are my second favorite now because I actually like the Ruffle even more just for a more dramatic look, but these are actually quite natural, but they're still a go-to for me. These are the number 11. So I like these because they're just a nice natural lash. People never really notice if it is my real lashes or fake ones. They honestly I always think it's real when I have these on um, and I never have to trim them which is nice another restock for me was actually the peach and lily this is the peach and lily ginger melt cleansing oil this is my favorite cleansing oil I've tried a lot um, I know a lot of people always talk about cleansing balms but I think I'm more of an oil girl because first of all I think it's less mess you don't have to dig your fingers into a balm it's more sanitary so I don't really like the pharmacy one that everyone loves or the elemis one 
everyone raves about. I prefer one I can pump out and this one works great. It gets literally everything off and it doesn't blur like my contacts or anything. It doesn't leave a weird residue. So this is by far the best one I've tried. So I always use this to take my makeup off followed by just my regular cleanser. I also bought this little it Cosmetics brush bath. It's a little brush cleanser. I think it's like a, a solid like little bar. Let's open it up. Yeah, it looks like a little bar of soap. So typically I would probably set out my brush mat that I use. Um, I would get this wet, swirl my brush in there and then use the mat to get all the gunk off. I've been trying to do so much better about washing my brushes. So I've been trying to keep stocked up on soap and all that. So I figured we would try this one out. I think again, this was a 21 days of beauty buy. <laughs> Um, that was half off so I picked this one up. Um, I just got a bunch too from Sigma So I'm actually like really well set now on a brush cleaner, but I figured we would try it Okay, I got a bunch of new tree hut stuff as well So tree hut came out with all new shower gels and Ulta actually has an exclusive one the tropic glow Which is shimmery. I cannot wait to put this one in the shower Tropic glow is one of my favorite scrubs a lot of people say it smells like Sol de Janeiro boom boom cream Okay, I am a scent snob, so I personally don't think it's a dupe for that. I have yet to find something that actually smells exactly like it, and I've tried all the dupes, you guys, but I don't know. There's just something about Sol de Janeiro that's just so good, but this has, like, hints of it. It's, like, a not-as-strong version, not as sweet, but it's still so good, and it reminds me of just summer. And I love that they included like the sparkle with this one. So I'm so curious to see how this is going to be, if it's going to leave anything on the skin. This has similar ingredients to the Boom Boom Cream. So I think that's why people call it a dupe. Like it has guarana extract to tone and kapaku butter to brighten as well as pistachio oil to try and give it that similar scent. But the Sol de Janeiro one is just so much more edible. But that doesn't mean that I don't still enjoy the Tropic Glow. And they also came out with a mist in this one. This is like their first fragrance mist, so of course I picked it up. This is, again, a shimmer spray, but I will tell you, this does not leave a glittery residue, in my opinion, because I hate glitter sprays. Like, you can't really see any glitter. It's very fine if that's, it's not even noticeable. Like, I put it on my hand and it has maybe a slight shimmer. I don't think it's one you have to run out and buy because it's okay, but like, if I'm going for a mist, I'm probably gonna pick Sol de Janeiro over this one. This one's just not very strong in my opinion, but I mean, they did try it, <laughs> so we have that. And then I also grabbed their new Ulta exclusive scrub, which is Bikini Reef. <laughs> kind of an interesting name, it reminds me of Spongebob. This one has almost a slight tropical floral scent to it. I'm smelling floral for some reason. I thought I would pick this up because I am kind of a tree hut collector uh, and I love to try out their new, well I'm not really a collector because I don't like collect a bunch, I don't like keep a bunch of back stock, but I love trying out the new scents when they come out. I don't know if I'm as excited for this one though. I think it's okay, but it's not like a favorite scent of mine. Like I prefer their peach scent that they just came out with or their birthday one I think is much better. Okay, I've been hearing such good things about this vacation line. So their sunscreens are pretty popular. They have a delicious scent to them. They even have a perfume. And if you guys have seen the like whipped cream sunscreen from them, I think that's so cool. But I just got the classic spray. I love that this one you have SPF 50, but it's also kind of like... A fragrance mist in one in a way because it has that same vacation smell and I have smelled their scent before and it smells like tropical paradise like it literally smells like sun it has a suntan smell to it it has like a beach ball or like pool floaty note and banana as well so it just smells like you're at the pool during summer so i'm really excited about this i'm hoping that it's a good one i mean spf 50 it says it's water resistant for 80 minutes so i have pretty high hopes that it'll perform and hopefully you know i won't be getting sunburn with this one we'll definitely try it out though and then lastly i got two perfumes okay so eilish by billy eilish i have purchased this before and decluttered it because this one it had to grow on me, which is so weird. When I first got it, I was like, you know, this is not my favorite vanilla, but now I actually really like it. But it's because you kind of have to get past the first initial spray, at least for me. This one, I don't really love it at first because it has this almost spicy note in it that I just don't really care for. 
but the dry down on this is so delicious and it becomes more of like a true vanilla scent it's pretty long wearing as well so I decided to go ahead and try this one again I do think this is a really pretty fall and winter vanilla but yeah just keep in mind it does have that spicy kind of opening that's not a pure vanilla, but the dry down, it's really delicious. So I did pick this one up again, and I have been liking it. Um, I just got the small size, so we got that one. I'm not a huge fan of her second one. I, I've talked about that briefly, and I didn't really care for that one. Another scent that kind of had to grow on me, but this is the Burberry Her Elixir. Originally, when I smelled this in store one day, it was a brand new bottle. It was like the first day of the launch, and honestly like it smelled like bug spray to me like it did not smell good i don't know if the juice just had to sit for a minute or what but now i'm getting more of what other people are smelling how it's really decadent it's strawberry but like really rich and almost jam like i do get that now and i like this one better than the original burberry her that one's almost a little bit too sweet for me but this one just has like a more elegant side to it. Feels more almost grown up, like night out kind of vibe, but still being very sweet and I think paired with some of my other like cheaper strawberry scents from like Bath and Body Works and stuff, I think this is gonna be really good. So I did buy this one and I have been really liking this one too, just for more elegant Burberry her. So that is everything in this Ulta haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like there was quite a bit of fails and you know, some stuff we haven't tried yet. A couple things I'm really excited about. Let me know your thoughts if you have tried any of these. I'll have everything linked down below as well if you wanna check them out. But thanks so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything else in this video you want me to try on in a video too for like a testing new makeup. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.